The IntelliCone connected roadworks system enables the full extent of a road closure to be digitally mapped and remotely monitor the integrity of the taper by detecting taper strikes using smart batteries and a taper beacon set. To deploy the system, you will need to collect your allocated beacon set, including first sign beacon, taper beacon and end beacon as a set from the storage area. The beacons must be powered on at the depot to ensure they have enough power for the shift. Press the power button to ensure the green light around the button flashes. If there is not enough power, the beacon will power off immediately and you must contact your supervisor for a different beacon to be used. Once the battery levels are deemed to be okay for deployment, the beacons should be powered off and placed on your vehicle ready to be taken to site. All sequential taper lamps must have smart sensor batteries installed within them that are supplied and collected by HRS. All used smart batteries must be placed in the grey recycling box for collection. Install the new smart battery in the lamp and test to ensure the lamp turns on. The system is easy to use and deploy on site. However, when assessing the placement of the beacons, overhead structures must be avoided to prevent any connectivity issues. Once the first roadworks ahead sign is fully installed, the red first sign beacon is placed on the ground next to the sign but away from traffic. Press the power button on and as the green light flashes, place a 1 meter cone over the beacon. Once the taper is fully installed, as per the company's safe system of works, including the smart battery sensors in the sequential lamps, the blue taper beacon is placed on the ground in a safe place adjacent to the 610 arrow sign on the verge for near side closures or next to the VRS or concrete barrier for offside closures. Press the power button on and as the green light flashes, place a one meter cone over the beacon. The beacon must not be placed under any cone that forms part of the taper and should avoid being placed on the carriageway. Once the end sign is fully installed, the green end sign beacon is placed on the ground next to the sign but away from traffic. Press the power button on as the green light flashes place a one meter cone over the beacon. Once the equipment has been deployed and has connected to the system, the beacons can be viewed on a live map via a computer or smartphone. When a taper strike happens, the specified supervisor will receive an alert message via text telling you where and when the taper was struck. In order for HRS to validate taper strikes, all text alerts must be replied to. Therefore, once the taper has been checked and reinstated if required, please reply with either strike confirmed or no strike via text. At the end of the shift, when the closure is being removed, the first and end sign beacons are to be powered off and placed on the vehicle before the sign is removed. In addition, the taper beacon must be powered off and placed on vehicle before the taper is removed. If the beacon is left on whilst the taper is being removed, False alarms will be sent via SMS and email registering multi-taper strikes.